Imagine if you only got one chunk per day in your Minecraft world. Would you survive? Let's find out. What? What? What, what happened? I, I've been asleep for, for, for five months in Minecraft days. Uh, I think I was in a coma. Hey you guys, what is up the DOQ is here, welcome to episode 5 of the One Chunk Hardcore Survival Series, One Chunk a Day, whatever you want to call it. So, I waited until there was one piece of sugarcane on the map. And that was about 70 Minecraft days. Um, and that was getting two chunks per day. So here's, here's the deal, guys. We have pretty much an entire world now to explore. Now, some of you may be saying, well, this isn't really in the spirit of one chunk. And let me tell you a story. If I wanted to have waited naturally to get my first piece of sugar cane, I'll just, I'll, first of all, I'll just show you where the sugar cane is. We're just going to walk over there real quick and, and I'll talk. So I wanted to play this like, you know, the challenge stated where you get one chunk per day and then I made it two chunks per day because it was too slow. Um, but even at that pace, it would have taken like 30 hours. I mean, 70 Minecraft days, each one's like 20 minutes. That's 140 or sorry, 20 times 70. It's like 1400. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me do the math here. So that would have been 23 hours more of playing 23 hours and we would have gotten our first piece of sugar cane i'm serious dude there's no more sugar cane in the entire map there's literally no sugar cane that, that like, and there's no other way to get sugar cane right like i was looking up i was researching i was like surely there's a way to get sugar cane and like realistically like there's no way to get sugar cane um that was probably riskier than it should have been so I don't know let me know in the comments if this is kind of like well then how is this one chunk anymore I mean like I could have given myself a piece of sugar cane but I'd rather not like cheat like that but you'd think like earlier in this river like spawn area over here we would have gotten a sugar cane but no I mean I, I I waited until we got a piece of sugar cane I'll show you the the replay footage or maybe I've already shown it to you I don't know where I'll put it in my um, actual like uh, video but yeah, we finally have sugar cane, so we can start growing it, and we can enchant in this episode. Um, another problem is if we ever want to beat the game, like go to the stronghold or whatever, we just have to wait for it to generate, or I just generate more of the world. And then it becomes a regular hardcore Let's Play. So I'm not really sure what you guys want me to do there, but I thought for sure some sugar cane would, you know, start to be planted over here, but there was none. Um, so you can see our original chunks, like where we left off last series was in the beginning of that replay. You can pause it if you want to, but basically we had these flattened chunks. We didn't even have this chunk right here. Um, but yeah, we have more of this, uh, what is it called? Scattered or sparse jungle over in this direction. Um, over here is like some mountains and then over there obviously is the desert. So we can add glass to our house, which would be kind of cool. So I figure since we have like a nice flat area right here, we should probably build a sugarcane farm there. Um, I believe, yeah, we still do have two water buckets in our inventory. Like I have no problem still playing this. Ooh, yeah, and that's right. One thing that did happen was our nether portal got generated. So let's go and see what is in it. Um, we could go to the nether, which is generated in the same way the overworld is. Dude, if I had waited this whole time to get this, can you imagine the rage? Like, that's literally nothing. It's just, like, literally nothing. <laughs> so funny. Uh, so let's just go check out over here real quick. I mean, ma maybe there's something cool that we're missing. I really don't know. Um, we'll just have to kind of figure that out. I also need to make sure I don't randomly junk, jump into a chunk um, that isn't generated. But luckily, most of these seem to be generated by now. Yeah, so I think you guys get the point. We'll still get two chunks a day. Um, although, to be to be fair with you, I don't really think we need to, like, explore them a ton anymore. Um, it was really cool, like, at first. And then you realize that, well, there's no way to get the materials I need. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of, like, the edge. I think... No, it's not a jungle temple, but... Yeah, it's somewhat interesting. That was not intentional. <laughs> Oh, 
okay. Dude. Dude. I guess I was trying to go for the water, but I did not mean to walk off the edge. Okay. Um I don't know I don't know what to do now. Like I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Did that really just happen? Like really? Okay, so I was standing right here and I just like fell and then I didn't even go in the water. Um, let me rewatch that footage because that seems weird. Either my shift key gave out. I I don't know. Let me rewatch the footage. Jesus, dude. Uh, okay. Well, I you know, a lot of things have just run through my mind. Like I, I I'm just gonna be upfront and completely honest with you. I did not mean to die. Like obviously at some point the series was gonna end, but I would have liked to have like, you know, gotten to the stronghold and stuff like that and made a sugarcane farm, get enchanted tools, and actually do some bigger builds. Like, I guess I was already surprised I had survived this long, and I guess it was just a matter of time before I goofed off the edge, but I definitely did not mean to just like walk off the edge. I keep watching the footage, and like from my perspective, like, I mean from the record, it looks like this. Like, I'm just walking and I fall, and I was holding S the entire time. Well, that's not what I meant to do. I was holding S the entire time, and for some reason, it didn't get me far enough. Because every time, like, I've gone back here and I've done this a few times. I, like, walked off the edge, but I didn't mean to walk off the edge, and I'm holding S the entire time. And, like, you should, I should have been able to catch it, but I guess I didn't start holding down S quick enough because I was in shock that I had just fallen off the edge. I had two water buckets in my inventory. I could have used the water buckets. I don't know, dude. Because now I feel like the loyal viewers are going to be watching this. Like, you, you guys are watching this and you're like, well, if that's how the series is going to end, I cannot invest my time into another series. Like, I don't want to. But, I, like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I genuinely didn't mean to die. I don't know what to say. Like, I mean, it looks like I literally purposely walked off the edge. I've been playing for a long time, guys. I wouldn't have done that. Like, there's much easier and better ways to, like, purposefully die. I did not purposefully die. And now it sounds like I'm trying to cover my tracks. And it's like, why would I do this when I was still having fun with the series? So I don't... I don't know, man. I just feel kind of bad. I know some people are going to be like, Neo, just continue it. It's okay. People die. But, like... I feel like that's not in the spirit of hardcore. Like, I haven't really died like that in my other hardcore Let's Plays. Like, you know, when I didn't mean to die. Like, you know, like when I spawn 10 withers that was pretty intentional that was kind of the end of the series and but this was just starting like what so i don't know guys i'm sorry like i genuinely am especially for everyone out there who's like a loyal viewer and uh you know they're or just people who are giving me another chance and watching a series and then it ends this quickly but like i can't help if i just die i don't i don't know what i'm supposed to do but i guess i guess this is the end that was seriously not, that was pretty anticlimactic. That was not, oh yeah, and half of our mob farm is gone because those chunks right there are generated, so that's fun. I'm really sorry, guys. Like, I genuinely am. I didn't mean to die, and I feel like we could have done a, a good bit more at this series, but if that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess that's the way it crumbles. But, like, how do I just, how did I just go off the edge? I guess I was looking and I was walking at an angle already near the edge because i didn't like go like this and just walk off the edge right like no no, no. Uh, it was over here and i was like i thought i was holding down shift i think is the problem because i remember in the clip you remember what i said i said i think my shift key gave out but for some reason i wasn't holding down my shift key and i think i was trying to look over the edge and like you know if you think you're holding down your shift key and you look over the edge even if you hold s the entire time i don't know how i didn't get it I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Well, at least we have, like, a regular series going right now, which is just, like, a normal survival series. So, hopefully, that makes you guys happy. I'm sorry about this. That was <laughs> wasn't supposed to happen. Anyways, guys. I You know what? Just just, just leave a dislike on the video. I'm, 
I guess I could focus on the SMP series now, but I could have done both, and I was doing both for like two and a half weeks, so I, I don't know, man. If you have any ideas for your new series, let me know. This one was an expensive one to get developed, but I mean, uh, like, let's run through a situation, right? If I would have kept, if I would have, like, kept going, what would have happened? I would have gotten a sugarcane farm, gotten chain of tools, built some cool stuff. If w Whenever I wanted to defeat the stronghold, I would have had to have generated more of the world. This would have turned into a regular hardcore world by that point. And then what? Like, it's just a regular hardcore world. Because it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't really a challenge after the first, like, two chunks. Right? Because these two chunks that I spawned on, like, they had pretty much everything. Like, there was a mine shaft. And that gave me all the wood that I needed. So, like, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Instead of a secret code, if you have an idea for a Let's Play or something you want to see me do, let me know in the comments. I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I guess I'll make up for the fact this is short. I'll make an SMP video for tomorrow. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.